The Lord be with you. And with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. So the Pharisees and the scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well, did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites? As it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, How well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, If someone says to father or mother, any support you might have had from me a scorban, meaning dedicated to God, you allowed him to do nothing more for his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on, and you do many such things. The Gospel of the Lord. How wonderful the name of the Lord is in all the earth, says Psalm number 8. And the experience of this man that has written this psalm for us and shared with us the experience is just to observe what he has seen in his whole life, the earth, the sky, the animals, humans, the brothers and his sisters all around him speak something about the love of God, something about this um, merciful and wonderful God. And then the expression of the heart is this, how wonderful your name is in all the earth. In the first reading, we heard that uh, story of the creation of humans in love and in mercy. And in such a love and mercy, God is even able to say, let us make man and woman in our own likeness, in our own image so he lives within us there is something so beautiful within us that needs to be back or brought back to or to its original state right of love of mercy and goodness so today we are uh, called by god to remember that he lives within us that his image is in us his own um, likeness is in us and that likeness and image is about love but more of the love is the willingness to serve, the willingness to share that love with others, because we see that in creation. He is willing to share what he is, what he has, which is love. So we are invited to do so, and then to proclaim as Psalm 8 is telling us today, how wonderful, oh God, your name is in all the earth. Amen.